Minister Paul, Northern California, Sacramento area, 11-8-2012. Uh, this is part two. It was uh, recorded. It aired live on CBS at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is part two of the media fiasco uh, lying about what they're calling bath salts. Go ahead, please. <laughs> popular newer drug that's being called an epidemic at this point. Now, last night we introduced you to Hannah. She's a 21-year-old ballerina whose life was nearly destroyed by the horrific drug known as bath salts. There are continued efforts now to introduce a ban on the synthetic drug right here in California. Here's Sharon Day. <laughs> known for causing psychotic snap, drug induced psychosis, violent behaviors. <laughs> Agitation, high levels of anxiety and paranoia. YouTube video shows drug users on bad trips, many of them high on a drug called bath salts. If you were to take methamphetamine, PCP, combine these together with the hallucinogenic and the stimulant properties, it's, it's pretty much what we're up against. Police believe Deutsche Bank executive Brian Mulligan was high on bath salts days before a violent confrontation with the LAPD. Listen to this controversial audio recording released by the LA Police Protective League. Well, my lawyer will tell me when I say this, but I, I, I went to a head shop and I bought some of that... Lightning stuff. Snort it? Yes. Drug experts say it's highly addictive and makes users feel superhuman. They feel that they can see better than average people, hear better than average people, to the point where they see things that we don't. They hear things, they hear thoughts, they hear things that we don't. But its side effects are dark, and the psychosis lingers even after the drug wears off. We're not talking about what you buy at Bed Bath and Beyond or one of these nice places. We're talking about designer drugs that are giving a name that looks innocent so that they can be sold over the counter without any repercussions. And they're sold under different names. Users get their fix by buying online at smoke shops or convenience stores. In California, the sale of bath salts and other designer drugs is a crime, but possession is not. So some cities have passed laws making it illegal to possess these drugs. But research chemicals used to make them are still readily available on the open market. It's what plant food or window cleaners are made of. And anyone can buy the chemicals online. Experts say getting high on designer drugs is like playing Russian roulette. And there's no control, so you have no idea what you're getting. And these designer drugs are finding their way into stores, avoiding detection because of this label. Greer says stop the drug dealers by cutting off their access to these research chemicals. What you need to do is create some sort of a certification process whereby people who have a reason to get these chemicals and use these chemicals can get them. I had it described as um, falling asleep and having nightmares, sleeping and screaming and waking up and, and the nightmare continues. It puts them in a very delusional state. They're very confused and with five sensory hallucinations simultaneously, it's, it's pretty hard to convince them that what they're seeing, hearing, feeling isn't real. That's part two. I believe there's a part three in a couple hours here and I'll upload it. I just question the timing of this. Bath salts is a serious issue. But is it the, a serious issue two days after the election? I live here. I haven't seen it here. Um, I haven't seen anybody high on it. Um, I believe there's more to this story. Um, matter of fact, if you go, I'll just show you how the media works real quick. You see the blood dripping off of that? It's all uh, It's all part of their little show. And look at Sam Shane. He's a Christian. Um, it's obviously that he's actually concerned over this. And I don't mean to speak for him, but uh, I know uh, some of his background. Um, when, when, if you watch it closely, they mentioned the dark side of the drug. And when they pan to that a dangerous new high. There's nothing new about this. Uh, the blood disappears. Just keep your eyes open and watch for part three and ask yourself why all of a sudden, and they mention Obama signing legislature in June to ban this. So the final say was uh, President Obama is going to fix this.
Just remember that.